we have your slides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First page, and yeah, okay, go on. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I want to talk about continuum modeling of electrophoresis and zeta potential of air bubbles in pure water. Uh, hydrophobic uh, water interfaces like air or oil water interfaces are negatively charged. One evidence is that micro bubbles suspended in pure water move towards the anode under the exposure of external electric field. Micro bubbles are very fine bubbles and appropriate for the investigation of the air water interface electric charge because of their reliant stagnation in the electrophoresis cell absorption error. Uh, the source of this charge can, um, is uh, under debate for several uh, years and uh, the molecular explanation uh, can't explain it very well until now. Uh, one interpretation uh, proposed to explain this negative charge is accumulation of hydroxide ions at the water surface. Another is presence of trace amount of surface active uh, charge purities. And another uh, potential mechanism is anisotropy of intermolecular hydrogen uh, bonds uh, at the air water interface. We focus on the potential effect of charge transfer between water molecules. Uh, the core speculation here is that asymmetry in hydrogen bonding between water molecules lead to a charge transfer from hydrogen accepting to the hydrogen donating water molecule. In the symmetric environment of the bulk water, this effect is However, this is not true at the anisotropic surface of water. The volume uh, here we have the volumetric electric charge profile at the air water interface that is obtained uh, from Poli et al. linear scaling density functional theory based simulations. Uh, they use Willard and Chandler formulation to obtain the charge profile which define the instantaneous density fluctuation of the interface. This uh, profile shows that there is a substantial negative charge density in uh, approximately two angstroms from the Gibbs dividing surface in the water phase. Uh, it is notable that Gibbs dividing surface is where mass density reaches to its half value. The air water interface is made rough by thermal fluctuations that uh, smear out properties computed relative to the Gibbs dividing surface. However, the instantaneous interface does not include contributions from fluctuations in interfacial position and is at each moment in contact with air phase. Uh, we, intend to use a, we intend to use a continuum model to check how much charge transfer is responsible for negative charge at the air water interface. Uh, before proceeding to the continuum model, uh, I uh, give a review on basic concepts on electrokinetic of charged particles. Uh, when a charged particle immerses in an electrolyte solution, is subject to an external electric field. The particle moves toward the uh, the particle moves due to the imposed electric field, and the relative motion be, uh, between the particle and electrolyte is developed. This phenomenon names electrophoresis. Electrophoresis mobility uh, turns to electrophoresis velocity divided by external electric field magnitude. Uh, the shear or slip, slip plane is a hypothetical location near the surface that separates the mobile surrounding fluid molecules and ions from the immobile part attached, attached to the surface. In other words, counter ions or charge in the shear plane acts like they are part of the particle and that ones outside of the shear acts uh, as if they are part of the surrounding fluid. The zeta potential is defined as the electric potential at the shear plane. It is common to use of zeta potential for indicating amount of charge carrying by the particle, but owing to the fact that the reported experiment data our electrophoretic mobility, we would prefer to use of latter to avoid double incorporating viscosity in our model. Uh, 
uh, in this equation, you can see how the zeta potential can be related to the uh, electrophoretic mobility. Uh, Argova, I'm sorry, I had a question on the previous slide. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, the viscosity here is the bulk viscosity. Yes. Right? Okay, it's, it's the bulk viscosity. Uh, we, uh, due to this fact, uh, the, uh, the point that you said, we avoid calculating the top potential uh, because get rid of using uh, bulk or any other viscosity profile here. If we use okay. electrophoretic mobility, uh, we get rid of using viscosity in our okay. result. Uh, sorry, what is the thickness of the shear uh, plane? Sorry, can you repeat the? Uh, what is the size of the the region that you called shear plane? Shear plane is a hypothetical plane, but uh, and it is different uh, in several uh, in electoral lights. Uh, and one of uh, the uh, works that our model do is to estimate the location of shear plane for the air bubble interface. I mean, do you have an uh, estimation? Uh, three nano, uh, three angstrom, about three angstroms. Okay, okay. Uh, location of shear plane in our model is fitting parameter. Uh, we um, we run our model for several locations of the shear plane and um, calculate the electrophoretic mobility corresponding to each of them. Thank you. At hydrophobic interfaces, the fluid velocity is not assumed to vanish at shear surface. This arises from lower friction force that hydrophobic surfaces exerted on fluid. This makes slip boundary conditions an appropriate choice for fluid velocity at the shear plane. The slip boundary conditions is identified with the slip length, which is defined as where the linearly extrapolated tangential velocity profile of the fluid vanishes relative to the interface. Uh, our continuum model uh, approach uh, is very similar to a standard electrokinetic treatment utilized in the charge collates incorporating the balance between electrostatic and hydrodynamic stresses imparted on the, um, on the colloid once a stationary fluid flow and electrophoretic particle current is established. The air water interface modeled as a flat plane that makes sense while thickness of the charge region is small, compa small comparable to the bubble radius. Uh, and this plane is extended in Z direction uh, while external electric field expo exposing in X direction. The electrically driven fluid flow is governed by the Stokes equation uh, where eta is a viscosity profile across the interface, U is the velocity profile and uh, E is external electric field and uh, rho E is a uh, charge profile, uh, volumetric charge profile that obtained from the simulations. This equation is solved with uh, a slip and uh, no stress boundary conditions in the bubble fixed frame while the corresponding slip length and uh, position and accurate position of the shear plane, shear surface is treated as fitting parameters. Dividing the obtained velocity uh, of a bubble by magnitude of external electric field, we can calculate the electrophoretic mobility of air bubble. In this part, uh, we present results of our model, assuming uh, that the viscosity across the air water interface uh, would be equal to bulk water viscosity beyond the shear plane. This uh, plot is the electrophoretic mobility considering mentioned viscosity in the model versus different positions of shear plane across the interfaces. And uh, we plotted for uh, slip lengths one, two, and three nanometers. 
by contemplating that position of shear plane could be from zero to approximating two nanometers. Uh, Takahashi obtained the electrophoretic mobility of air bubble immediately from experiment as minus 25 times 10 powers minus 9 uh, mesh per square over volt second. Uh, and uh, assuming that uh, 3 nanometer be true, reasonable choice for slip length, the best fit value of electrophoresis mobility predicted by this model is equal to minus 8 times uh, 10 over 10 uh, powers minus 9. Its magnitude is 68% uh, smaller than the experimental one, but it is 25% better than past similar works in the literature. <laughs> Across the air water interface, viscosity varies from somewhat around zero at air phase to one millipascal second at water phase. Thus, the viscosity alters remarkably across the interface between a few angstroms, where the charge profile is also negative in that region. Uh, we intend to obtain viscosity profile from, uh, in across the interface from the self-diffusion coefficient profile obtained from Bernard's oil paper. Then using a Sachs einstein einstein formula to obtain viscosity. Using uh, this I, I come on, you, you have uh, three minutes at most, just for you to manage the time. Okay, thank okay. you. Using this viscosity profile in the model, the minimum value of electrophoresis mobility for a slip length 3 nanometer reaches to minus 16 uh, times uh, 10 powers minus 9. That is 20% uh, uh, closer to the experiment. Mm, it shows that uh, pro, uh, viscosity profile uh, has a crucial role in all results. However, this uh, self-diffusion profile that we use for calculation of the uh, viscosity pro profile is respect to Gibbs dividing surface. Uh, however, uh, and uh, it smear out uh, some uh, smear out the result and uh, doesn't give accurate results. Uh, we want to progress our work by uh, uh, calculating the viscosity profile versus the instantaneous position of the surface to get the more uh, accurate results. Thank you for your attention. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we have time for questions, if there, there are any questions. I, I have one, if it's possible. Uh -huh. well, uh, okay. And I, don't, I have a question that's uh, what uh, um, about the air bubble? But I, I mean that if we have something instead of the air, mm -hmm. uh, some other sphere, uh, mm -hmm. ha has it any effect in uh, your calculation? Any other bubbles? Like yes. an oil, Before, like an oil droplet. Solid, sphere, droplets or solids or everything, a sphere. Mm -hmm. And just, I'm, I would like to know that's where the, the air bubble are in your research. Uh, air bubble is um, uh, the um, electric charge is obtained for the air bubble and uh, the um, experimental then, value that we are comparing or model results with it, it's uh, obtained then, for air then you, uh, I Sorry, can then re repeat the question maybe for Arwa. Arwa, the question is if instead of air, you have something else, mm -hmm. like a dielectric sphere. Reza, correct me if I'm wrong. Then where in your model, the fact that instead of air, you have uh, a sphere, a solid sphere like the electric enters, where does it enter in your model? That's, a, I think, the question. Mm, in the charge profile. Okay, but the if you have a, just, just you are uh, borrowing the charge from the air. That's right? That's yes. Uh, the charge all profile of the and the charge profile. The same, exactly. That's right? Mm, repeat uh, your last sentence, Every, please. Everything is the same. Just yes. you have a different value for the uh, charge density over 
on on the on the sphere. Profile, charge profile and viscosity profile and also the slip length. Yeah, yeah. Would be things are, yeah, these things will be different. So the thing is that the the Argavon doesn't solve for the electrostatics. The electrostatics come from uh, uh, MD simulations by Ali and uh, and Marco Polini. Basically, they Marco Polini. I said Emiliano Polini. Emiliano right? Emiliano. Oh my god. Oh my God, sorry. Yeah, then uh, basically we use that as an input because uh, rho is more of a quantum nature that has to be obtained through uh, basically, uh, that has to be used as an input here. If you use uh, the electric sphere, I think you have to repeat MD simulations, bring in uh, rho as an input parameter. So we don't try to solve a Poisson equation for electrostatics because this is not what we want here. I think Ali can correct me if needed. Okay, that's good. And I have actually a question from Ali. That's yeah, are sure. your voids negatively charged, Ali? That, that's a fantastic question. And in fact, uh, they are. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, uh, so the, the, yeah, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> uh, I, can I just, Ali, is it time for a question or comment? I, yeah, I think. Yes, okay. yes. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quick comment and question uh, for Ali Rajapur, Edgar Rolden, and Roman Belusov, because uh, they're all working on related things about spatial dependent diffusion constant first passage time. And so one, one interesting question and a challenge here is uh, being able to infer the correct viscosity, spatial dependent viscosity profile. What, what Argovan is doing now is a bit of a hack, which is using uh, the D of Z and inferring from Stokes Einstein relation, okay, which may or may not be correct. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's something, it's an interesting problem to think about given the other problems we're working on. So maybe yeah. we can get together and talk about that uh, after uh, not, maybe not, well, some other time because I know it's late for today's yeah. session, but That's at correct. some point, right? Yeah. Maybe we yeah, can yeah. arrange a group discussion about that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, after mm -hmm. seeing Roman's talk, because there will be a clear connection. There are going to be two talks now. So the next one is going to be Roman, and the 